Hello again, I'm Wes Lee with the Oklahoma Mesonet. Officially, I am an assistant state specialist with the Biosystem and Ag Engineering Department here at OSU. But I am housed at OU at the National Weather Center, which is the headquarters of the Oklahoma Mesonet system. There I am considered the Mesonet Agriculture Coordinator. In agriculture, whether we're talking crops or fields or gardens, nothing is more important to us than what is happening on the ground surface. And to determine that, we use sensors below ground at each of our mesonet uh, towers across the state. We have 120 towers that are on the public website, and at each tower you have access to soil moisture and soil temperature that is updated every 15 minutes for temperature every 30 minutes for moisture across the state. Our depths of our sensors range from two inches to 24 inches in the soil. There are two, four, 10, and 24 inches at each location across the state. Now, all of those sensors are underneath what we call a sod cover. Uh, that should represent general native plants out there in the landscape. But we also have soil sensors underneath a chemically treated bare soil. Uh, only one, and it's at the four inch depth. And so anytime you want to know temperatures or moisture underneath bare soil, you can take a look at that. Our soil temperatures record, as I mentioned, every 15 minutes we get a reading from the tower that gives us the soil temperature information. How could you use that information? Well, in the horticulture landscape, it determines things like when we need to put on a pre-emergence herbicide on our lawn, or it determines when we need to put seeds in the ground if we're planting a vegetable garden. So with multiple different depths and different situations under sod and under bare soil, the question arises as to what sensor or what depth we should use to determine our operations in the field. I like to use the four inch under sod when I'm dealing with a lawn situation. So that's primarily what I look at. I also like to look at a three day average because that takes out any short term fluctuations with a really cold or a really hot day. Uh, if I was planting seeds in a bare soil garden, I probably would lean more towards the sensor that we have underneath bare soil, uh, but it's at that four inch depth to look at. Again, I would look at a three day average to try to determine when I want to, to reach that threshold of putting seeds into the soil. As far as soil moisture is concerned, we have multiple different ways of looking at soil moisture uh, out of this set of sensors that we talked about. One of them is called plant available water. Now there's two ways of looking at plant available water. One is in inches for your specific mesonet tower location. It will estimate the inches of plant available water from the surface of the ground down to a cer certain depth. For example, the four inch plant available water utilizes the two inch sensor to estimate the inches of soil moisture in that four inch slice of soil. A problem with plant available water, it is, is very soil type specific. So it's hard to compare one location with another. The other way that we look at plant available water is with a percent. And I think those are easier to look at. We consider a soil that is completely full of water is con as concerned as plants are concerned to be a hundred percent in there and so if we turn that inches of water into a fraction for each location I think it uh, creates a map that's easier to le read. Probably my favorite way of looking at soil moisture is what we call fractional water index. This is simply how wet or how dry is that sensor in the soil at each one of the depths. It does not try to estimate soil moisture above or below that location. We put this on an index of zero being as dry as the sensor can read and one being as wet as the sensor can read. So your soil moisture is going to range somewhere between zero and one for each location in the state. And it provides us a comparison of one site with another when looking at our soil moisture values. Thank you for allowing me to visit with you about our Mesonet system and some of my favorite sensors. For more information, you can visit our website at mesonet.org or you can download an app for your phone. I'm Wesley and thank you again.
We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Bye.